Erica, Brandon, what you seeing out there? So we're going to break off from the five furlong pole, traditional five four furlong work right before the big board. There we go. And we'll just, uh, you know, there's an official clocker here. I've got the watch out. We'll just throw up a, some splits just to kind of see what kind of time uh, we're getting. Get an idea off. It looks like he's rolling. Interested to see what this opening. So 11 and 3 on my watch. So he's, you know, serious work. They're going to put some more speed into him, maybe two. Uh, but he looks good. The ears are kind of flicking back and forth. We did the workout video before the uh, <clears throat> on the morning workout show and talked about the rider's hands. That's one thing you want to watch with these workouts, the rider's hands, see how much encouragement he's having to give him. Watch the ears of the horse. You can see they're kind of flopping back and forth. 34-1, and one, guys. Pretty, uh, pretty strong opening splits on my watch and good lead change. So he flipped over to that right lead, gives him the extra energy. I mean, he's, he's looking pretty smooth here. 46 and one so I mean he's he's blazing now remember the track is manicured for race day so it's going to be extra quick uh, he's striding out well to the line kind of see maybe just checking the watch as the fans applaud him he's reaching out well to the wire unofficially on my watch 58 and four and let's see what they do on the gallop out here so a little bit of nudging I believe right before the derby worked out six furlongs at about 112 so pretty good little work there 112 flat on my watch uh, it's unofficial and uh, we'll see how much they continue to do here on the backside. It just looks like he's cruising. I mean, when you're looking at watching workouts for distance horses, you always kind of see, do they kind of grab the bit and want to take off again? You know, 125 and four. And uh, that's kind of what you would look for here. It also depends on, too, how much did Eric Reed really want to do here? Does he want this horse to continue to gallop out like he did before the Derby? Save a little something in the tank, maybe a planned workout before uh, the Belmont once they get to New York. I got a same exact time as before the Derby, a mile and 140, and then kind of just finish up by the track kitchen. So the work's pretty much over at this point, but you always want to watch the ears too when they're galloping out, when they start to pull up the rider. You can see the ears are pricked. They're kind of flicking around. That kind of tells you that he had a lot more in reserve, guys. All right, thanks, Brandon. So the official splits, very similar to Brandon's 11 and four, 23 and one, 34 and four, very quick, 59 seconds flat for the uh, official five furlong time, 112 flat on the gallop out, 125 flat uh, from Brandon for seven furlongs. And Scott, we've seen the track is very fast today. Again, when you're educating someone on workouts, and Brandon has said this time and time again, it's more about how they do it than how fast they do it. I thought the gallop out was good all the way back uh, past the track kitchen and uh, guessing. and not going to put words in Eric Reed's mouth, probably exactly what he was looking for and certainly looked good vi visually to me. Got over the track visually well, in my opinion, as well, and uh, should set him up for exactly what he's hoping for in terms of handicapping the race. I think I'm going to be leaning towards playing against him if he's the price I expect him to be, but certainly a horse that's done extremely well at Churchill, two of his two best efforts here. The question is, how will he ship? He's a very temperamental horse to an extent, and how will he take to that much different Belmont surface?